Guys, I found it. So, uh, the A had tunneled diagonally into here. And the stairs are right there, right underneath the skeleton. Bam. <laughs> I was like, okay. Clearly they dug diagonally and then when looking diagonally my my little D buddy found it. Like the, the guy we converted earlier. He he had he was digging around in that area and I found him and I was like, Oh that's weird and then I found the A. He was trying to go for the A. Um <laughs> Interesting. What, you do two poison resistance, and you do one defense. Eh. One defense isn't all that necessary. So now we have to be very careful and really seek out those exits. Let's explore every nook and holy shit. Consume and heal. And we escaped. <laughs> I think it died. <laughs> <laughs> Are you around, buddy? I th yeah, okay. So we poisoned it, and it died from the poison. Um, there's a strange circle. Let me guess, it has a brain, a smaller brain. So that was where the realmling came from. It was a summoning circle. Someone is trying to mess us up. A blood-sucking rat scurries about on the ground. Don't want to fuck with that. Pain's reached to the northeast, so we know what this means, you guys. Actually, if I recall correctly, I might be able to get one of those humanoid things on my side by binding it. Um, rare lava imbued helmet, huh? Fudge. We don't need you. Uh, illness dagger. Probably don't want you. Destroy. Northeast. I just want to follow the yellow brick screech, so to speak. Ah, baby's crying in our head. Perfect. Um, uh, let's look at our lock. Yeah, okay, so we feel like we're slipping. Bam. There's the exit. We could just take the e You know what? The best thing to do is run. Uh, we have made it to the second section, you guys. Engraved fountain. It's an engraving of a hooded tall elf. Drink. We found a item. It is ridiculously powerful. <laughs> Let's equip that. A severed leg. I still want to throw the dwarf beavers at people. It's a pretty open level. Fire zombie. How much health do you have? Seven. How much damage do you do to me? You're an eight-armed lizard, but you're also a zombie. Um, 
minus two defense, minus two fire resistance. We'll we'll kill it in one hit. Yeah, we're almost guaranteed to kill it in one hit. We're not totally guaranteed, but we're mostly guaranteed. <laughs> I like this level layout, it's open. I'll have to examine those as they pop up. What are you? It's bulging black eyes, a pockmarked monitor lizard, and it's four appendages and a paper thin. This is, there's a bunch of lizards on this level, basically. So this one, we're less guaranteed to kill. But... Um, uh, and it could do damage us a little bit. Yeah. Do do do. I've probably been recording for a very long time already. This might be an extra long episode. Uh, let's eat it. Just so we have some open. So we can pick up this armor here. What, what kind of defense do you give me, armor? Two defense, destroy. Not useful. Um, uh, that dagger from earlier, also not useful. Elemental cloak, lava helmet is useful because we can throw it at people. Bottle of misery, will we really end up throwing that at anybody? I'm gonna see what happens when I, I don't remember what happens when I throw that at somebody. All right, so we have a fiery skeletal cruck. That's we throw our bottle of misery at you. Oh, that's what it does. <laughs> it's like an instant kill. Oh, the fiery skeletal Kruk has been struck down. The fiery Kruk is suffering and writhing with pain, and then it died. And it left a big blotch of pink on the ground. Anyway. <laughs> I should have probably not wasted that, but I didn't remember what it did. I mean, I could look in the code, but I don't feel like that. This, so, here's the thing. It's, it's kind of interesting playing my own game. Because I've been developing this thing so long that there's features I don't even remember that I added. <laughs> uh, let's quaff this rum. Let's quaff this mead. Let's quaff this other rum. And let's quaff this mead. Um, as you can see, our misery is now very, very high. I mean, low. <laughs> Our composure is very high. <laughs> uh, the zombies are destroying all the doors. That's what the uh, slightly transparent line means. And a talisman. Okay. So how do we get that talisman? So there's a talisman here. It's a strange, worn-looking triangular talisman with several gemstones in it. Engraved on, upon it are three symbols. On the bottom left of the triangular talisman is a crude symbol of a brain and a smaller brain surrounded by a vortex engraved upon a circular cut amethyst crystal. On the bottom right of the talisman is an engraved image of a hood with a dagger across it. The hood has two tiny eyes. The eyes are made from fire opal. On the top of the talisman is an image of a strange creature with a tentacled mouth and large bat-like wings and an anthropoid outline engraved upon a circular cut light green emerald. In between the three symbols of square cut turquoise cabicone, there is what looks like an arrow between the left symbol and the, uh, the symbol the right symbol aiming towards the right symbol. There is what looks like an arrow between the right symbol and the top symbol aiming towards the top symbol. There is what looks like an arrow between the top symbol and the left symbol aiming towards the left symbol. The talisman is warm to the touch. So that's supposed to hint at us that there's different old ones and they all 13 damage? Um, uh, mm, I don't know if it's better than six, six poison, six fire, though. Huh. <sighs> 
that's a really good item. Um, there's a curious. We gained some max health there. All right, so we have some options. We could look around for a spell that lets us pull this out of the wall. Um, wait, there's a door there? Pick the lock. We jammed the lock. Oh, I thought it was just on the wall. Okay. Sometimes it's on the wall. You have to, like, figure out a way to get it off the wall. Anyway. Strange talisman seems to have runes applied to it. Identify? Of course we failed. Nine plus nine. <laughs> Well, I mean, I suppose we could throw it at somebody. It's actually necessary for um, uh, certain aspects of this game to have that talisman. So let's keep that talisman, even if it won't help us directly for a while. There are other ways. It's late. <laughs> Open wooden door, engraved iron bar door. Engraved of a carriage surrounded by apples. Wait, what? <laughs> yep, it's a carriage surrounded by apples. Okay. Some crates, an evil nether dagger. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. You hear horrible chanting in the northwest. There's cultists on this level. Okay. Severed leg, consume. What? <laughs> you find yourself in a dark catacomb. You wake in a dusty catacomb. <laughs> A sculpture of a creature with a barrel shape and wooden limbs. Its mouth has teeth in it. Some of the teeth are made from rubies. <laughs> Cultists literally everywhere. What are you, like, super resistant or something? Yeah, you are. Well, okay. Okay. We're in a... A bit of a scrap. So, what do we got here? How much fire resistance do you have? Four, four. Are you weak to anything? You're, you have very, very high resistances. I mean, it will um, stun them. But, oh, we do have a healing potion. Okay. This is really dumb. Don't try this at home, children. keep getting ignited by the um by our friends all right there we go so they had fire resistance which means i can damage them for fire damage for, i can damage them when i throw water on them um which is kind of a trick but i survived that Hopefully I don't get ambushed by... Alright, cultist? Dead. Alright, we got this. We got this. Alright, more cultists. Flaming door fever. Oh, 
Uh, notice how our level changed to five. We were on level like six or seven before. That's because we entered a new section. Um, a new realm, and the realms reset your um, position in the dungeon. So if we were to get out of here, we'd be like a level above where we were. I just used up so many of my resources on that fight. Um, I think we'll continue this in the next episode, which will be Bard Part 2. See you, folks.